Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is a little bit of a different video. I decided to move the camera over in front of a window here and try to film makeup in natural light today. I've had a few requests for that over the last few weeks, so I'm trying to figure out the best setup here. So let me know what you think about this one and I can change it moving forward, but I'm just kind of trying it out today. I needed to put on just a little bit of makeup. So this is what I'm calling my barely there makeup. It's there, but it doesn't look very obvious. You know what I mean? I'm not really calling it a no makeup makeup because I'm still using a decent amount of products. It's just the way they're applied doesn't really, it doesn't look obvious if that makes sense. So to me, this is barely there makeup. I hope you enjoy. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around. I do all kinds of makeup content here on my channel, drugstore and high end. I would love to see you again and let's go ahead and get into the video. We're gonna get started. So I didn't really plan to film this today, but I have to put on, or I don't have to, but I want to put on a little bit of makeup. I have a doctor's appointment to go to, and a lot of you have commented and said that you would like to see more natural light videos, so I'm trying this out today. I kind of bought a new little desk this weekend to use over here in front of the window, so I don't have to move my entire setup when I do this. And I'm just not great with camera settings and natural light. So hopefully this is okay, but I'm just going to test it out. So I'm just quickly putting on a little bit of lip balm. I had this thought earlier that today I wanted to do barely there makeup, meaning makeup that is makeup, but it just... It just looks like a kind of naturally enhanced version of yourself. Not so much no makeup makeup because... We're definitely going to wear some makeup, but makeup that doesn't look like makeup. Do you know what I mean? That's what I want to do today. I don't want to do too much because I'm just going to the doctor and coming back home. But I'm just putting on some of my Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I wanted to include the skincare part today because to me, when you do this type of makeup look, you are most likely going to be a lot happier with your makeup if you do your skincare and really prep your skin before you start doing it. That's just going to help your products apply a little bit better. And then for sunscreen right now, I'm using this. This is the Color Science. Sunforgettable Total Protection Face Shield. I wish you guys could see. I'm sitting in front of my window and my window has a pretty wide kind of ledge on it and my cat, Belle, is sitting there. She's just staring at me doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna take my sunscreen. Yeah, I got this new little desk from Ikea this weekend and it's just a really tiny little desk it has a drawer and everything in it and I'm thinking about maybe doing these kinds of videos over here every now and then so that if you like to see videos in natural light I'll be trying to incorporate them a little bit more I mainly got this little table just for me personally because when I do my makeup and I'm not filming, I really like to sit in front of a window and do it. So I mainly got this so I could sit here and do my makeup with natural light, but I figured I would try this out for a video and see if you guys like it. So the first thing I'm going to apply on my face is this from Milani. I've talked about this a ton, but I love this. This is the Supercharged Under Eye Brightening Skin Tint, and, or Brightening Under Eye Tint, excuse me. And this one is in the shade Peach. So this is the perfect product for the type of makeup that I want to do today because it's very, very thin, like extremely thin. You'll see when I apply it, it's really reminds me of an eye cream personally 
So I'm just gonna apply some under my eyes. So I was using my finger, but I'm actually gonna use this little Real Techniques brush. You can definitely use this product with your fingers, but I do think it works just a little bit better with a brush because it's so thin. But you could definitely do it with your finger too. All right, now I'm gonna use a little bit of MAC Face and Body. To me, this is like the ultimate barely there product. Now that I've tried this, I totally understand what everyone is always talking about because this truly does not look like makeup. I don't know how to describe it other than it just looks like your skin. So I'm putting some on my hands and just kind of rubbing them together. Try to get it to kind of turn to that tacky consistency. Honestly, probably should have put this on first before I did that Milani under eye corrector, but oh well. As you can see, you can still see my skin peeking through through this. So I am not going to apply anything else to my forehead, my chin, anything like that. I'm going to apply a little bit more on my cheek area since that's really the only place I need any more coverage on my face. And I'm just gonna blend this in. I'm gonna let my face kind of relax for a second because it always gets really irritated when I rub on it like that. So I also got this really cute mug at Target this weekend. It says sweater weather. I love it. Okay, I am going to apply a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use the Kosas Revealer Concealer. And this is the shade number four. I'm putting mine under my eyes. So I'm just kind of adding this anywhere where I want just a little bit more coverage. The uh, face and body, I would say, is like a light medium coverage, but it's very, very pretty. So I think it's perfect for this kind of makeup look. I'll tell you what, I still don't understand though. So this Kosas concealer is for neutral. To me, this is not neutral. Like this is straight up yellow, in my opinion. I really like that concealer, but I just cannot find a shade that I feel like works well for me. Yeah, so I don't know. Something about the shades on this Kosas concealer I feel like are very off, but this color is okay. It's just not like a perfect match. And then I'm going to take a damp sponge and... Just blend this in. I like this color more on my face than I do under my eyes. I just feel like it's too yellow. Okay, I have this random like line of sun and I cannot like, <laughs> I can't get close enough to the camera to get away from it. So we're just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna now take a little bit of my e.l.f. putty bronzer and I'm just going to add just a little bit of this to my face. I'm not adding a lot. I wanted to do this today because I've had a few comments um, over the last few weeks on videos about filming in natural light instead of with my ring light and my two side lights. And I wish I could do that more. It's just, it's not as simple as like just moving the camera and sitting in front of a window. You can do that. It's just like today is very, very sunny. That's why there's enough light for me to even do this. But on a lot of days, there's just not enough light 
coming in this room for me to be able to do that and not use any other type of light, which I know a lot of people really love natural light and I like it too. It's just, it's a lot more difficult to film and you kind of can't film at certain times of the day if you're going to use natural light. So for me, I need to be able to film when I need to and sometimes I can use natural light, but a lot of times I can't. Um, so that's why I don't. It's not because I don't like it. It's just because sometimes it's just not really possible. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of this from Hourglass. This is the ambient lighting powder in diffused light. So this doesn't even really set your makeup. It just kind of finishes off your skin. So I really don't use this for like a setting purpose. I really only use it as like a finishing powder. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit under my eyes. If you see me looking over there, it's because I got this little mirror to sit on this table so I could see what I'm doing. And I'm looking over here. Okay, now I'm gonna use some of my ColourPop Brow Wax. This is pretty new to me, but I've actually really been liking it. I have yet to decide if I like it as much as my Patrick Ta Brow Wax, but I do like it. I was actually thinking about using e.l.f. Wow Brow for this, but now that I've gotten used to using this like clear brow wax it's really hard for me not to use this even if i'm not putting on a lot of makeup i just feel like i really like how a clear wax looks in my eyebrows now so i feel like i'm not even using like my brow gels as much i just like this better for my eyes i don't really want to do a lot i'm looking over here laughing at my cat she's She's like very confused as to why I'm sitting over here. I think all I'm gonna do for my eyes is I'm gonna take, I'm not even gonna really even them out. My eyelids have a lot of discoloration naturally, but I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. This is Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Marie Antoinette which is kind of just a taupey metallic color, but I'm like barely using any at all. Like I'm barely tapping my brush in here because I really don't want very much. And honestly, that's probably the only thing I'm gonna put on my eyes. I might take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury eye powder pencil and I'm just gonna run a little bit of that on the outer half of my lash line. I actually haven't been using my eye powder pencil. I've been trying to kind of give that a rest for a while. So I'm just kind of smudging it very slightly with an eyeshadow brush. Okay, I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows just the smallest bit with my NYX pencil was thinking about just kind of leaving them like this, but I think I'm just gonna like barely fill in just a little bit where I have like larger bare spots, mainly like out here and in the arch area. And then I have this one little area on this side in the front towards the very bottom that it's like a little hole. And then I'm just gonna go back through and brush one more time. I need to leave for my appointment in like 45 minutes. I wanted to sit down and film something before I go because something about me, I think this is pretty common, but I hate going to the doctor. I hate it. I hate it. I will just sit around and dread it. I don't know what it is about it. I would rather go to the dentist than the doctor. Any type of doctor. I just, 
I don't know. I just hate it. <laughs> and I put it off as long as I possibly can. But I knew if I sat in here and film something, it would at least give me something else to focus on until I have to leave. So y'all have to let me know if you like these videos over here in front of the window and I'll start incorporating them a little bit more. I'll have to kind of play around with where I sit depending on like where the light's coming from. So that is all I'm gonna do for eyebrows and then when I do this type of makeup where I'm trying to do like very very little I personally really like to use a brown mascara. I feel like brown on me with my lighter complexion it just looks a little more natural so I'm going to use the CoverGirl Lash Blast mascara in brown but I'm first going to curl my lashes honestly if you really want to go minimal you could just curl your lashes and not even <laughs> apply mascara but I have this one I actually just got a new one of these from CoverGirl so I figured I would use it and I'm just gonna very lightly coat my lashes I'm not trying to get like crazy thick looking eyelashes I'm just trying to basically make it look like they're there <laughs> You can't even see it that much because it's brown, but that's the kind of look that I like when I have on very little makeup. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put any of this on my lower lashes. I might just barely kind of touch them. All right, and that's almost pretty much everything. The only other thing I want to do real quickly is when I do this type of makeup look, I like to use a lip liner and really only a lip liner. And I typically kind of choose one that is very similar to my natural lip color. And the one that I always kind of immediately reach for is the Milani color statement in all natural. It's really, really pretty. And it's just a good kind of a rosy nude because my lips have a good bit of that natural kind of rosy color to them. And I'm not, I'm not even really super precise with this. I just kind of lightly apply it all over. And then I kind of take my finger and smudge it out even more. And then the last thing I will do is take a lip balm. So this is the one by Summer Fridays. I love this one. And I just put that on top. So it looks like my lips, but just a little bit better. And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to throw this type of video in every now and then. And I'll work on... I don't know, figuring out the best way to do this in front of the window. Let me know if the lighting looks okay. I, It's hard to know until I watch this back if it's bright enough so you can see it, but not too bright because then I'll look washed out because of all the light coming in from the window. So let me know what you think and I'll start doing these a little more often, especially now that I have this little makeup desk here. I'm gonna show you in the next few videos some new things I've done to my office in here and I'm really excited about it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I love how this turned out. You can see, I hope, you can still see my skin through this. I did not cover everything up. You can definitely see my skin tone peeking through this, but that's kind of, that's what barely there makeup is for me. It's not necessarily, using less products. It's using products that don't look like they're there, but they are there. You know what I mean? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next one. Please subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair01. I'll see you next time. Remember, simply be you.